stories about Malay Malay. Um, so we will start, and um, if you're interested in how to support, is uh, there's this thing called Big on Deck, and two people can stand right here, two is a uh, while one person is up here, um, and keep your 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 moment. It's about two minutes. Um, how do you feel? Continue and let it flow. No, two minutes, and basically capturing the moment of being with and hanging with, and what you love most about Molly, Mama, Molly. Okay, got my plan. All right, so who, who would like to? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. Um, so let's start by just saying that um, being the oldest uh, of seven is a blessing. Um, seeing my mom just like do everything. Um, when we were younger, we used to like have chores and we couldn't go have sad. And we used to call her five o uh, when she used to come up because my mom worked a lot. Um, single parent pushing it and making sure that her kids had everything that we needed. Um, and so what I what I love most about my mom is that she she just did it. It just if it needed to get done, got done. If we needed food, we had food. Um, clothes, everything was just perfect. Um, and to think that at one point in our share is like we were we were poor. Growing up, we were like poor. Um, but my mom never let that on. It wasn't until I got older and I started looking at numbers and I can understand like, oh, yeah. However, she gave us the word. Um, and we never had to feel like we couldn't want for anything or get anything. It was just a matter of like, she made it happen. And so even that salary that she received, she spent her last on her children. Um, she did everything for us. And on top of that, um, and really like thinking about the idea of the community family. So everyone who was in blood, you were family. Um, because she would still extend herself and how she would just be there. She just showed up. You just, you be in a situation in my life, showed up, where, where you going? Um, and she was just always there. And so the one um, last final note was just her coming to DC a few weeks ago, which has been a project in process. Um, and she finally said yes, and I was like, yes, okay. And so she was originally supposed to come in October, but she had a little cold feet, so it was like, okay, November, right? Um, we worked it out, I remember being on the phone with her and like the excitement in her voice. You, you sure, Sean? You sure? Okay, okay. Looking up the flights, talking about it. And when I booked it and sent it to her in her email, she was so excited, she wrote the confirmation information down, like, mom, but it's in your email, you, you fine. And she would check in all the time. No, I'm coming to DC, but I got a pack. This is a pack. <laughs> Three weeks before, but I got a pack. I need to pack. I think she was packed like two weeks before. Um, leaving, she had a suitcase ready to go, and she told us, like, Sean, I'm ready. Um, and when she came to DC, she was so happy. She it was her it was her one dream, like it was on her bucket list. Um, and the, the 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 amazing part about it was that she was like so excited when she when at one point was really scared. So she had said yes to a dream of hers and to go ahead and go through with it, experience it to the fullest. Like she came, she talked about being on the flight, and then she talked about um, just like being there. And then when, when we were in DC, it was just her and I. I had her walking around everywhere, everywhere. Um, she came to see me at work. Um, and it was a really good experience because my mom and I's relationship was that, you know, I could talk to her. I was like, I'm the enforcer of things. And I'm wrapping it up now because I get a moment. Um, but yeah, so so it was really good to say that when she left, she was so happy. She got to see the White House and she was just so excited to come back to Chicago and tell her story. And so that was like one of the dopest things in the world, following her dreams and making it happen. Let's give it up for Molly and Molly, y'all!
thing you couldn't tell she was sick. That was one beautiful spirit. Thank God for the month that I really had to take a chair with her. Thank you.